this follow your dreams thing, it's a fairy tale. Try. Just try. Show up. Hi, you're watching Michaela and Shayna online. And, and Louise at Moritz. Yeah. And we are interviewing her at the premiere of the feature film, A Strange Brand of Happy in Van Nuys, California. It's nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. What brings you to the event today? I just wanted to, my publicity agent called me, and uh, we came right over. All right. What have you been doing recently? Recently I've been doing uh, tests, the different tests, and, you know, I do um, law, so I was doing a um, case for a woman that lost her house through foreclosure, and I was trying to get it back for her and she's working on it, I'm working on it. So it's a general production and we'd like to see if we can get the house back. Well, okay. I hope she does. And yeah. what's your like brand of happiness? Well, I really enjoy my three dogs, Los Angeles, Blancanieves, and Pelita. And I'm very happy with my dogs. Aww. What kind of dogs are they? They're two Maltese's and a Chihuahua. Oh, a Chihuahua! We have three Chihuahuas. Oh, yeah? yeah? Yeah. Everybody likes Chihuahuas. I think the reason they like Chihuahuas is because they don't get any fleas. Yeah. Yeah. My sure. Maltese's get some fleas. We get rid of them, but my Chihuahua is like she's doesn't get any fleas at all. Wow. It was incredible. That's amazing. She has amazing blood or something. The fleas don't go for it. They don't go for me either. <laughs> there are so many movies out there that give like great inspiration. What kind of inspiration can you bring to our world? Well, what kind of inspiration? I get inspired by uh, Dancing with the Stars. I watch that and I get really inspired, and then I go to dance class like 10 hours a week, and I really enjoy it because I had to give up dance class for two years because my acupuncturist saw me, and then she said, I fell on the grass, you know, and these guys were coming towards us, and I jumped to the side and hit my head on the grass. And she said, you better stay away from dance for two years. So I stayed away for two years, and I was very happy to go back this year. So I've been dancing for six months now, and I'm really enjoying it. I understand you've had a long history in the um, in the industry. Can you? Oh tell yes, us a I did. Bit of things you've done. I did a an award-winning movie called One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest with Jack Nicholson, and uh, that was many years ago. And then. Recently, I was on the jo uh, Jay Leno show, and I did a song for Jay. And I'm hoping to uh, be on the uh, Jimmy Kimmel show. I enjoy him every night. He's fun. And I did uh, Death Race 2000 with Sylvester Stallone. I played Sylvester Stallone's girlfriend. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> that was fun. Congratulations. And I think he's doing the Expendables, so I'm hoping to run into him or say, oh, hi. Like I ran into Jay Leno on the street one day. I was carrying my dog, and he, he came up to me and he said, do you have anything to do with show business? And I said, oh, yeah, well, I just wrote a song for you. And he said, why don't you play it for us? I said, I don't, even, I don't have my guitar. So you need to book me and take me into the studio. And he, and he booked me and I did the song for him. Wow. Yeah. Did you sing it for us? Not without my guitar. Okay. <laughs> Thank you so Thank much. Thank you. Thank you for watching Louisa Moritz with Michaela and Shayna. Bye. Bye. Just follow your dreams thing. It's a fairy tale. Try. Just try. Show up and be there. Do I know you? What? How do you know my name? You told me. He kind of looks like a sickly Ray Romano. Yeah. Would you date him? I should walk you home.